As we welcome you back to the Quad Cities, welcome back to our second intermission. It's time for plenty of emails. <laughs> Fortunately, we have the answer man right here. Uh, hat on. Yeah. All right, let's start out. Uh, Gina from Homewood says, the boys, what surprises you most about the Wolves' impressive start to the season? Keep up the great work. There's many things, to be honest with you. First of all, I think you have to look at Fred Brathwaite and the spectacular goaltending. Here's a guy this year that really did not think he was going to play very much. Andre Pavlik was going to be the goalie of note and play the majority of games, but uh, he got called up, and Fred Brathwaite has been spectacular. Without a doubt, the best that we have seen in the two years in goaltending. Uh, the other thing is the fact that defensively, you know, he has been the key, but defensively, they've only allowed 15 goals in eight games, less than two per game. I think that is amazing after what we saw last year. They still score goals. Their offense is still good. It might not come as often as we saw uh, the year previous, but overall, I think that's what you have to look at. The schedule's not been kind. Not a lot of games. I think you'd like to get into a better flow, but overall, I think a terrific start. Oh, it's been wonderful. The best start in the history of the Chicago Wolves, as you're well aware. All right, Harold from North Chicago says, hello, Pat and Billy. I read recently read an article about heated skate blades. Mm. What do you think of that idea? Well, I got I got to read some quotes out of this and I got to put on my spectacles. I'm not sure about this, but I'll tell you what happened. Uh, three years ago, this guy named Wayne Gretzky wore them, liked them, says that he'd still be playing if he had them now. Uh, what they do is they're uh, battery-operated, a microprocessor. They move to the degree of 40 degrees, 5 Celsius in amongst that. They cost quite a bit, but what uh, takes place is it cuts through the ice, glides through the ice. It's like a hot knife through butter and that's what they they talk about and this young guy in 1985 started this he had a class in thermodynamics it was a cold february morning he had his running shoes by the heater he put them on took off and went down the stairs rear end over a tea kettle and he said what happens if i put my skate blades in the same situation he found out that it really worked so that's how he came about this in 1985 he started it so it's it's something for the future i think there's a lot of gimmicks like the jerseys and now the skate blades i'm not sure if you'll see better hockey because of it but it's definitely different don't you wonder about about what it will do to the ice condition. Though you hear complaints sure. all the time about the ice conditions late in periods or heading into an overtime. This will even exacerbate that, won't it? I would think so. You might see deeper ruts, and if guys are turning, it might shave the ice a little bit more, and it might be a big problem. Uh, that's something I'm sure they're working on, too. All right, our next email comes from Andy from Bensonville. Hi, guys. I've been checking the Atlanta box scores to see how Darren Hadar is doing. It seems as though he gets an assist every once in a while. What's his status with the thrash? First of all, he's still there. That's good. Uh, not for us, obviously, for many reasons, but uh, for him and the Thrashers, he's played fr fairly steady hockey. You can see his totals. He's got uh, six points, and that's good. Uh, Brett Sterling is now back with the Wolves, so it shows me that Darren Hadar, they expect to score some points, but I think he's also very responsible defensively. He's done it a, uh, really everything. He's played on some scoring lines this, this season with this club. He's also played in situations where he's had to be the energy guy. I'm not sure if we'll see Darren Hadar back. Kudos to him, but uh, sorry for us. Yeah, no doubt about about that, the MVP of the league, and yeah. almost everything ran through him last year, and mm -hmm. it led to some great offense for the Chicago Wolves. All right, our final email comes from Ron Stordo's right-hand man, <laughs> Bunker from Wrigleyville, <laughs> who says, Hi, Pat and Billy. I was at the first game between the Wolves and the Rockford uh, team at the All-State. Can't wait until the next one. The rivalry has, we, has begun. What did you two think of the game And P.S.? We always like adding the P.S. The telecast sound great. Thanks, Bunker. Uh, Bunker, I'm sure Ryan's been a few in golf, and I'm sure he's had a few beers in a Bunker, too, but uh, uh, the great, it was a great game no doubt about it. a very physical game i think we'll see a different brand of hockey mainly because of this team coming from the east coming from norfolk where they had a really tough division they play a physical brand of hockey they don't mind the fisticuffs i think we'll see that it will be a, an arch rival no doubt about it i think the people of chicago have wanted to see this for quite some time they were not very happy when norfolk did not come uh, to all state arena very often so now that the hawks farm team is close by i think it'll be a great rivalry we'll see some terrific hockey and these are two very very good teams and well matched yes. teams i think we're going to see some great hockey indeed mm -hmm. when the Wolves play against Rockford. All right, that's our email segment for tonight, and we're always glad to hear from you. And if you want the blazing fast download speeds, get Comcast High Speed Internet. It's up to four times faster than DSL. Call 1 888 4BEST TV for a great offer. We're through two here in the Quad Cities. Come on back with us. You're watching Chicago Wolves Hockey on Comcast. <laughs>